On every planet in the galaxy, you'll find the Flux, a powerful, magical energy. Here on the Killian, we call it the Breath. Flux is so strong that it had to be banned, except in galactic football, the most spectacular sport in the universe. But 15 years ago, a mysterious explosion rocked Achillean, swept the breath away, and destroyed our chances in the Galactic Football Cup. 15 years without a decent team, and nothing but snow and ice. Now, hope lives again. Young, new players to revive the breath of Achillean. Our fate is in their hands. Galactic Football. Last time on Galactic Football. Dear friends, I'm very happy to welcome you on behalf of all the Wombas people. You didn't tell them I was Archie's nephew. Simbi, it's so good to see you. You look surprised. I live here. Master, Dame Simbi has just taken up her new position. Snow Kids! Huh? You are looking for a team name, right? You'll have to play your hearts out to win. Yeah! That's how you have to play! Don't you think that attack on Tia was strange? She has the breath. That's a big plus for the team. Arch will have to do without his little marvel forever. It looks like the police are here. We're looking for this girl. She ran away from her parents, the Obia Moon Ambassadors. I wanted to be on your teams. I'm sorry. We give our daughter, Tia, permission to play on your team. And we're very proud of this, Mr. Arch. Actors, Tia, actors. Do you realize that you pretended those people were your parents? You would have never given me permission. Of course not. Football isn't an activity worthy of your presence. You're an ambassador's daughter, Tia. You can never forget that. How could I? You said it to me every day since I was born. All right. I'm sure you understand our point of view. The matter is closed. We won't speak about it again. That's funny. That's your job, isn't it? You speak every language to people throughout the galaxy, but you won't say a word to me. I spoke more with those people, as you put it, than I've ever spoken with you. Tia, you're not here to discuss things. You're here to obey. And please don't keep trying to compare us to these two actors. You're right, Mother. That's far too flattering. Tia! At least they're passionate about something. Tia, that's enough. What are you waiting for? I'm going, sir. <laughs> Calm down, sweetheart. <laughs> Calm down. Stella, you don't understand. I was happy there. I was finally doing it. I absolutely have to return. Shh. What's the matter? Charming, little rich girl. As long as she lets me watch my show. In my opinion, the Lightning are the favorites for the next Galactic Football Cup. No doubt about it. It's a fact that Warren has never played so well. But we can't forget about the Shadows so soon. Their last friendly matches have been incredible. And Achillian. Achillian? <laughs> oh, Nork, you're such a joker. <laughs> they don't even have Flux. Why not? They did it before. Hold on. Which team are we talking about here? Are Tagor Nexus Red Tigers or the... What are they called already? Arches team? The Snow Kids. That's right. As far as I know, the match that will decide between them hasn't taken place yet. We don't know if it'll even take place. The great stadium of Achillean is still buried in ice. We now turn to the charming Kali Mystic, live from Achillean, to see what she thinks of all this. Well, Kali, people on Achillean must be speaking about this match and nothing else, right? Well, not really, Nork. You know, since the Achillean Ice Age, football has kind of vanished from people's minds here. 
I am, however, in the temple for football fans, Planet Achillean, and you can't exactly say the joint is jumping. There seem to be a few concerns about the choice of stadium. What's going on, Kelly? Indeed, the great stadium is still covered in ice, but Arch promised the league that he would be able to host tomorrow's match. But if we take the odds makers on their word, the match is already over, and Arch should be worried. His team has a 90% chance of losing. Well, Clamp, heating circuit is completely shot. I'm sorry, Arch. We have to do this. I'm counting on you. Stop hogging the ball. Just have to ask. Can't you ever pass to anyone? Only to guys who can score. What? You think you scored a goal there? I can't believe it. Here they go again. Debriefing room in two minutes. I want to remind you that if we lose this match against the Red Tigers, it's all over. People out there are waiting for me to fail. Anybody who felt threatened by my return would be thrilled to see me drop out, and I don't want to give them this pleasure. I want to show them that I was right. Prove to them that you're capable of being great players. We won't get a second chance, and I frankly can't see us winning this match playing the way we are. But to do that, you have to play together, not against each other. <laughs> but, sir, we can never win without Tia. That's true. She had the breath. We don't. And we certainly won't get it either. You'll never get anything with that attitude. You have to work hard to get the breath. It's deep inside each of you. Awakening it will demand your most concerted efforts, a collective effort. Eureka! What? I've discovered how to get rid of the snow in the stadium. I believe Clamp just saved you training sessions. Come a little closer. The field's covered with snow now, but in a few minutes, it'll be as level and dry as it was in the old days. I just have to use the existing meshing from the RT-156 flexible couplings and change the radiation frequency. Uh, I didn't quite get all that. Don't worry about it. Go back to sleep. Thank you, Clamp. Without you, we would never have found Achillean Stadium. I carefully analyzed the Red Tigers' last few matches, and I think I found a weakness in their defense. Believe me, I'm not trying to take your job, Uncle. Uncle? 
You're right, Rocket. If you're gonna run headfirst into a wall, call him Uncle. You think we can win, Microwise? Yes, we can win. We have to win, or else it's all over. You heard what Arch said. This is our only chance to do something big. I'm sure I've got it in me. The great destiny I'm dreaming of is meant to happen in football. It can't just end here. No way! What's up? Were you speaking to me? No, no. I was talking to the walls. Yes? Am I disturbing you, sir? No, no. Come in, Rocket. In fact, I wanted to speak with you. Really? Yes. Come here. Rocket, I have the impression that you're having a hard time fitting in with the team. Is there a problem? No, sir. It's just that they've all known each other for a long time. It's not that easy. And then, I wonder if they figured it out. Figured what out? That I'm your nephew, sir. You aren't my nephew here, Rocket. You're just a player like everyone else. Of course, sir. So, did you have something to tell me? No, sir. Nothing. Nothing at all. I'm gonna go to bed. I'm tired. Good night, sir. Crazy? You scared me to death! The door was wide open! So, do you feel obliged to enter someone's house every time you see an open door? No, it's just that... What I mean is, uh... I wanted to ask if you had any news from Tia. And why would I, Rocket? Mm, because you shared the same room? So I thought that... You think that she shared things with me? Tia? I've never met someone as secretive as her. Except for you, maybe. I really don't see what the problem is in talking about oneself. Tia, you sure it's the green button? Yes. Good night, dear. Good night, Stella. <sighs> What's with this mood? We're not going to a funeral. Yes, we are. Ours. Relax. It's only a football match, after all. It's not a match. It's the match. Then, Simbai, you don't happen to have something for weak legs, do you? A cream or something like that? I don't know what happened to me. Of course, Tran. I'll find something for you. For me too, Dame. Same for me. My arm's hurting me. And my head hurts. Mr. Spotter was the league representative for this match. He will make sure that everything follows Galactic Football Cup rules, so there will be no dispute about the outcome of this match. Gentlemen, I only have one thing to say. Let the best team win. That would be my team. I see you haven't lost your legendary sense of modesty, Artigor. Modesty is the pride of the mediocre. Well, dear, this looks like a promising match. We're not going to be bored. Come on, you two. Shake hands. You heard what I said. Shake hands. I selected you out of many because I believe in you. Don't forget that, in all of you, together. Give your all, give everything you have. I don't want you to regret a single minute of this match. All right, enough talking. The field is waiting for us. S sir can I say something? Wow, the guy speaks. Did you know that? Yes, Rocket, what is it? Well, it's that... Uh... I spent several days watching the Red Tigers' last few matches over and over, 
and I spotted a weakness. Hey, now, Rocket, you're not planning to steal my job by any chance, are you? No, of course not, sir. You're right. Rocket, I was joking. We're all ears. Here it is. A lot of goals are scored against the Red Tigers with high kicks to the center of the field. Their defense stinks when it comes to central headers. So I thought we might be able to use that. Arch, my dear fellow, I think this young man is ready to steal your job. Not only does he speak, but he's proud of it, too. A bit like you. Headers or no headers, we're gonna lose anyway. What matters is face time. Who knows, another club might want me. What I like about you, Sinead, is your sense of team spirit. Don't worry, May. Okay? I'll never be far from you during the match. That's exactly what I'm worried about. Rocket? Yes, sir? Here. What's this? The captain's armband. Every team needs one, right? Go on. Catch up with your teammates. Sir, do you think my father will be in the stands? What matters is what happens on the field, not in the stands. You're right, uncle. Arcadia News, news that spans the galaxy. If you didn't think it would happen, you were wrong. The match will indeed be played at the great stadium of Achillean. The wings. In the air, mate. In the air. Goal in. Wake me up when Tran scores one, okay? Use more muscle for crying out loud! This isn't a friendly match!
surprised they're losing. They never pass the ball to me. Not so loud, dear. People will notice us. And? Maybe we should go to the stadium. That would encourage them. Everyone here still thinks the stadium is cursed. No one's ready to return there. In any way, it wouldn't change anything, you know. The kids, they'll cut and seize. Don't worry, it's the same every night. I never seen someone sleep so much. What the hell are you doing? Let the pros handle this. I can't believe it. It's like you've forgotten absolutely everything Clamp and I taught you. All those hours of practice, all those combinations repeated again and again. You have to wake up, huh? Otherwise, we might as well kiss the Galactic Football Cup goodbye right now. But maybe you don't deserve it after all. As for you, Sinéad, if you keep putting on a one-man show... What are you gonna do, huh? Take me off the field and replace me with whom? How about me? Tia! You didn't think I'd let you lose without me, did you? What about your parents? We better warn her parents. Maybe there's still time to do something. Next time on Galactic Football. What did I tell you? Keep a close eye on her! Break the rules if you have to. Tia, are you all right? They're not going to last if the game goes into overtime. Gotta make this goal. Gotta make this goal. The breath. What would you say about winning? For real? Together. We've got more superhuman, extraterrestrial, interplanetary sports at the same time tomorrow. But next up on Jetix, it's Jackie Chan Adventures.